hello friends welcome back to another weekly vlog this vlog is gonna be a fun one it's like a glow up vlog because we have our engagement shoot coming up and we're so excited i'm doing just like all the beauty things to get ready for it so i went and got my nails done earlier this week and i'm just trapped in like the bridal plain neutral nails this is like the brand eye gel i think it's called and the color is heaven scent and it's just like a light pink i was gonna do french that's actually why i had the base as light pink and then i was like i actually just like this just as it is so i just left them so they're super plain and malleable i would say which is like literally what i get for all of my bridal things so i feel like i've just had so many like it's the engagement shoot it's the engagement party i'm going to try on wedding dresses whatever it is i don't want to have like crazy nails for so that's why i've been trapped in this era and then i also got my brows done yesterday so i got them laminated tinted and waxed and i waxed the tail off which is something i've done a few times and i love it i feel like it just like lifts and opens the eyes and then i got my lashes tinted as well and i go to my girl brit for that i'll put her handle in the description or on the screen or something i love her i'm obsessed with her and then today i'm actually going to see my girl jen hollander for prp micro needling which i've done micro needling before i don't think i've ever done the PRP, like where they spin your blood and like reinfuse it into your skin. So I'm going to do that, just get like a nice skin treatment. And I have like a whole skin treatment plan set up with Jen for wedding prep and everything. So I'm always gonna like vlog all of that for you guys and bring you along. And then, I'm sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna do this week is get my hair done. So I'm very excited. Bring you guys along for my hair appointment as well. Okay, and then before I head out today, I'm not really like wearing makeup. I just got my brows done. I'm obviously going to get a facial. I just put on like my t like tanning drops and my moisturizer, and then I did just like a tiny bit of blush because I feel like I looked really like washed out. But I mean, she's gonna take it all off when I go, anyways. And then just like a little lip gloss. But one thing that always makes me feel like more put together and cuter and just like better for the day is wearing jewelry so i always do this like if i'm going to the gym or if i'm going to get a facial or whatever it is it just makes me feel like my outfit is complete and like just feel cuter with it so i have some jewelry to share with you guys today from the brand abbott lion and i have a discount code for them as well i believe so i'll put that on the screen or in the description box and i have been wearing this little initial necklace a c for clayton and then it has his birth month um stone on there which is so cute so they're really good at like customizing things i got a bunch of custom things and they're all so cute and great for just like layering and wearing every day whatever so i'll show you guys some of the necklaces now okay so this one has my initials dc and it's this nice like chunkier chain i love this one just like layering this on with like a cute plain t-shirt or something is perfect this is also a great layering piece another just like fun chain and then i love the way that these clip it's kind of like a little paper clip i'm not gonna wear all of these but i am just gonna show you guys them how cute she makes everything better sorry this bench i'm sitting on is a little squeaky and yeah they're really good at customizing so it's a great place to get like gifts for someone or if you just want something for yourself this is like a nameplate necklace obviously it says my name and I just love having lots of jewelry options. So here's what these all look like. I'm not gonna wear all of them because I'm already wearing like the C for Clayton. I'm gonna take off the Delaney for today. It's a Clayton day. And then I think I'm gonna leave this, since I already have, like I said, the C, the customized one, I'm just gonna leave the more like plain accent one with the C. So cute. And then I also got some bracelets from them. And another thing I wanted to mention about them is their packaging is so cute. They can also customize the packaging. So how precious is this? It has my name on it, a little heart, the seal. So the packaging is also really cute and customizable, which makes it so nice for a gift again. Okay, so for the bracelets, I got this one that matches that necklace I just showed you guys. So it has the DC. It's a nice chunky chain like that another customized one i got has my name again and it's just like 
on this little chain and this is on like a pulley rope thing which i actually really like this because bracelets are really hard to get off and on yourself so cute i'm obsessed with that so yeah it has this little fixture i also got this little d one which i don't think i'm gonna be able to get this on by myself but i'll just slip it over this to show you guys just like a cute little simple initial bracelet which is so cute and so sweet i love that for a gift idea and then for the initial necklace like the one that i'm wearing i also got a d so i could wear that as well i could put them both on there that would be kind of cute d c is also my initial so then it's like this is just a necklace for me it's not a necklace for clayton anymore i don't know okay and then you guys know i love to throw on a pair of earrings literally anywhere i'm going so definitely putting on earrings makes like the biggest difference in my opinion and even when i'm like going to the gym i just feel like it's so nice to have a little something going on with the ears okay so these ones are little rectangles which is so cute and chic and it actually says my name on the front I don't know if you guys can see that, but how freaking cool is that? So I'm gonna pop these in. I love that. It's a nice, like, interesting shape, too. It's not, like, super boring, which I like boring. I like classic shapes, too, but I like that this is a little bit edgier and interesting. I also got these little hoops. These are great for, like, a gym hoop for me. They're small, but they're still cute. They have, like, the double feature love those and then the last piece of jewelry i got from them is a customized ring so i don't know how well you guys can see this there you go this has my initials on it and then it's just got like the little gems so cute you guys know i love wearing rings too so this is really nice and it's like adjustable um size so that is a plus as well so you don't have to worry about the sizing and everything and then i have two bags actually that they sent as well okay so more accessories that just make me feel more put together and like your outfit is complete and everything is obviously a bag even though you guys know i'm on like my bag girl journey where i'm trying to figure out what is the best thing to put in bags because i'm just not naturally like a bad girl but i i want to be so i'm getting into it this one is like a little tote bag and again customized so it has my initials on it this is a great like travel bag or work bag if you're going into the office or going to work at a coffee shop or something you can fit so much in here like your laptop planner all that kind of stuff snacks snacks is a really good thing to put in bags because i always want a snack and then this one i love this is like a creamy little like off-white shoulder bag which i feel like is the perfect bag it goes with so many things it is also customized so it has my name on it and i feel like this is great for my bridal era because i just always need like a little white bag and i like that this one is like that vintage white like an off white color um yeah so that is all the little pieces that I have from Abbott Lion. Um, I'll put my discount code somewhere for you guys. I'll link everything and you can also wear these in the shower. You can get them wet. You can sleep in them. They're really nice quality and they're really affordable too. So love that and I'll finish getting ready and we'll head to Microneedling. Okay, I actually decided to put on a little hat too before we go because I remembered I'm going to look like a tomato after this i'm like oh maybe a hat will be good i don't even know if i'm allowed to wear a hat after like i don't know if it can be touching but um i'm gonna bring it in case and then my little sweater over top it's probably gonna be hot today i feel like it's literally hot everywhere right now and definitely still in like la in california um but it's my little full outfit brown 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 a little cream sweater made it up to la gonna try this vegan thai restaurant actually comes recommended for my brother he's got one where he lives hey guys when we were just driving here we saw all the billboards for oh, the yeah. new bachelor and this is like food it's the grand like it's so zaddy nice. the grand zaddy the grand zaddy he looks better than me bachelor. he looks so good i'm gonna watch for a skincare we're gonna watch tonight okay. we're gonna watch every night because i mean we can't miss america's grand zaddy what are we gonna get? We here? missed America's granddaddy like that. That's pretty rude. Well, we like pineapple fried eggs. Yeah. Okay, I think it looks good. Got a haircut the other day too. That looks good. She likes my haircut, so he's loving it. What'd you get? Bad, bad cough. Bad, bad or something. 
Tad Fack. Yeah, Tad Fack. So good. Mm. It's all bed of vegetables. Oh my God. The sauce is so good. We got lunch specials. It comes soup. Nice. I might eat this corn fritters. You got corn fritters? Is that like a dessert normally? Like an appetizer. Well, we'll call it a dessert. Yeah, or maybe it's a mm. lunch dessert. Mm hmm. Looks so good. We got yellow curry. Some fresh coconut. Like, uh, what would you call that? Cream and milk. A little cream in there. Yum. Let's go get the needles in the face. <laughs> Why you gotta say it like that? There's little tiny needles in there. I don't know how it works. Our lunch was so good. So good. If you're feeling like Thai food and you're here in LA. Yeah. It's all vegan there, but it's really good. Yeah. And like tofu. Oh, tofu I love tofu vegetables. so much. I and literally rice. wear a freaking hoodie today. Rice is my life. Huh? Rice is my life. Yeah. Shout out rice. Shout out rice. Yeah. Okay. You have like a little stuff on your teeth. Anyways, I thought I was... Oh my, a little. That's gross. I chew them so much. I'm trying to help you out, brother. But yeah, it's really hot still. It's not giving fall. It's 81 degrees. I wore a hoodie thinking it was fall. Bad decision. Silly goose. I wonder if I'm going to get numbed. I don't know how to do it. It kind of hurts on the forehead. You've got microdia in the forehead. Mm -hmm. It kind of hurts on the forehead. And do they numb you? So I can't remember. Well, let's go find out. Coming for you, Jen. So we are doing a procedure on Delaney today called microneedling with PRP. And PRP is platelet-rich plasma. Mm -hmm. So when we draw her blood today, we're going to put it in a centrifuge, which is going to separate the platelets from the red blood cells. Oh. And then we do a second spin and separate the platelet poor from the platelet rich. And then we inject that back into the face while we microneedle her. Wow. And what that does is it helps to not only promote healing after the microneedling that we do, mm -hmm. but it helps to promote new blood flow and circulation to the tissue, mm -hmm. which means more oxygenation to the tissue and stimulates more hydration, like hyaluronic acid. So things like fine lines improve, pores look better, and the skin just looks younger and more even. Wow. So you can do a microneedling without PRP, obviously, you can, right? You can. You can. Yeah. Um, I think just the PRP is kind of the cherry on the cake. Yeah. Because um, if you have an event to go to or you need to kind of recover a bit faster, mm -hmm. um, that is... I mean, you can see such a difference between the people that do it with or without. Yeah. Um, it's not bad to do it without, but if you have the resources and to, time do, to do yeah. it, it's always better. Okay. Nice. Yay. Yeah. Exciting. And it's great for people like Delaney who have really beautiful skin already. This is kind of just maintaining her, getting her wedding ready, getting her great for the also the fall and winter seasons mm -hmm. when we tend to be a lot more drier. Mm -hmm. This is going to help to boost hydration in the skin. Nice. Um, so... I'm excited. All good stuff. Yeah. All the good stuff. And then we're also going to go over the lip mm. as well. So I like to microneedle over the lip as well. Like on the actual like lip? Like on the actual on lip. The whole, wow. On the lip. On the whole lip. And what does that do? That's With the also going to increase the lip? hydration mm -hmm. and it's going to increase coloration mm. in the tissue. We love that. Yeah. Does it make That's them plumper from that? A bit. A little bit? A bit. Yeah. Mm. Exciting. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. Former um, trainer, and she had gone through to Cal. We are on our way to go and spin Delaney's blood. Um, it takes about mm, five or ten minutes to do the whole thing. She's numbing right now, anyway, so we're gonna need the bigger counterbalancer for the first spin because we have the most amount of volume initially. Probably gonna end up with about seven milliliters of PRP. So, it'll be the first spin, and it goes in for 1.5 minutes the first round, and then the five minutes the second round. Okay, here it goes. So now we just wait. So here we have the red blood cell, and then this is the plasma. Now we're gonna do a second spin. And I'm not worried about this little bit of red blood going into my second spin because it'll separate it out really nicely. Perfect. 
and this is the same PRP that we use in our hair group for hair restoration. This is the platelet poor plasma, and this is the platelet rich. All that for this. And this is what we're gonna use to inject back into Delaney's skin. And we use it as a glide for needling. This right here is the platelet rich portion, and this is what we're using to inject into the face. Mm -hmm. This is the platelet poor plasma. So sometimes when I run out of this, I'll use this just to kind of, it's very soothing to the skin. So when you feel maybe a little spicy, a little tingly after the procedure, this really, it's kind of like puts the fire out. That is so weird. Isn't that cool? So this is the plasma portion of your blood. Why is it yellow? And that's just the color. Yeah. Um, you have really healthy blood. Really? Yeah. Sometimes patients look quite cloudy in uh -huh. the area. In the, in, the, in, the, in the PRT. Um, but yours is nice and bold and clear. Wow. Really? Yeah, that's good. Look at you. That's great. PRP on her forehead. You just like... I just put it on like a you glide. You kind of like wipe it on? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I microneedle it into the skin. And what I'm doing is I'm making little tiny perforations, little micro channels to allow for even better penetration mm -hmm. of the PRP into the skin. How are you feeling? Good. So do you keep layering on the PRP throughout? Um, sometimes, yes. Yeah. So that was like one pass. So I do three passes, and so I can already feel myself dragging a little bit. So I'll just go in a little bit mm -hmm. with the PRP. Mm. And it really feels nice for the patient. How's it feel then? Good. It's totally fine. And you got all the numbing cream, mm -hmm. too. This area is probably the most sensitive mm -hmm. on the face, just because you have mostly bone and skin yeah. in this area. I feel that. I'm almost done here, Blaine. It's not she bad, though. Great. She's a tough cookie, I tell she you. She is. I'd be crying right now. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. It's the Y chromosome. Seriously. You little baby. <laughs> you okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I can make her laugh. <laughs> How long will she be red for? Uh, maybe a day or two, max. Mm, not bad. Oh boy. It's worth it, Delaney. <laughs> relax, relax. And now I'm gonna go around the eyes. Also a favorite area of mine. I find that the eyes really just kind of open up mm -hmm. after. You okay? Mm Okay hey guys, I am out of the microneedling. Honestly, it was not bad at all. I think maybe the last time I did it, I didn't numb. So, it was worse. Not bad. A little swollen, a little red, but. Now we're getting a Haley Bieber smoothie from Air One, because I love them. So good, it's worth the hype. And Clayton tried the Frankie's bikini one. Mango Crush. It's honestly really good too. Like that's probably it's my really second good. favorite one. So I get it. JC recommends that one. Yeah, she we've only had so a few of them, right? Though. And Clayton was just sending our friends this Pokemon Baccarat. Pokemon X Baccarat. I don't even know what no, Baccarat I don't think is. I think it's Baccarat. I only learned about Baccarat the other day. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think it's for me. Our friends Samir and I didn't when we went over to their house they had like some baccarat glasses that they got for their wedding they had them out for us because they were being very nice because you know only the best how the persians do it they just make it it's so nice when we come over to only their the house finest. like they have the hors d'oeuvres they set everything up they make it so nice we, we know nothing about that stuff so no that's where we learn from it so clayton's gonna clayton's gonna gift Not items from pokemon no baccarat. i don't know want that he might. He might. I don't know if he's a big Pokemon guy. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, one day. Okay, so one day post microneedling. Honestly, it's a little bit red and blotchy, and I feel like I'm a little bit swollen, but not bad. I think Jen was saying like the PRP helps to like speed up recovery and healing and everything. So I think that honestly made a big difference and then 
she gave me some stuff to put on afterwards so i'm doing this restorative skin complex first by elastin i'm really just like needing to hydrate my skin and do really like gentle things for it right now since it's exposed and it's been a little traumatized um and then after that i'm doing the elastin um skin nectar so both of these are elastin and elastin is also what i used last time i got a peel laser thing it was called the cool peel I can't remember if I vlogged that or if I just posted about it on stories, but this stuff feels really nice for any like sort of skin treatment like where you've traumatized the skin a little bit, I guess. So that's what I'm putting on and then I'm just gonna do sunscreen over top of that and that's kind of like my skincare routine for a little while um, until my skin like recovers more. So that's the update. It's not bad. I am going to get my hair done today, so I look like a little tomato doing that. A little swollen tomato, but worth it because our house is so messy okay so this is my outfit for my hair appointment today oh you smell good thank you, what do you want? joe malone one of those new pair ones okay. we're gonna go woo, woo. oh my god also i can't remember if i already mentioned this in this vlog or not but i'm going to a new hairdresser today because my regular hairdresser aubrey is on maternity leave i think she's like gonna give birth any week now and so i'm gonna go see my friend blake's hairdresser jill who i actually met at blake's wedding she's so adorable she's so nice and my friend caitlin is also friends with her so she she's like friends with all my friends and she knows or she does people's hair that i know i love her work i just put on like a little makeup too because jen said i could wear makeup today if i wanted to but not to use brushes or anything just use my fingers because I'm just like, I'm going to get my hair done. I want to feel a little cute. And you know, when you're sitting in the chair and you're just like staring at your hair or staring at yourself all day, it's like, it's nice to be like a little, a little done up. So super excited to try out Jill and see her. I'll bring you guys along for the process. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I never really know before I go. We'll just discuss in the chair. And I always mention in my hair videos too like i like trying out different hairdressers like i love every hairdresser i've ever been to they've all done an amazing job i've honestly never really had a bad one but i just love seeing like what different people do too because they're all talented and they all do something a little different so i'm gonna go check jill out today all right we're here and jill is going to work her magic we're just going brighter and blonder pretty much is that the plan yeah just kind of i mean like your hair is so much darker and i feel like in the summer like the roots aren't like getting lightened as much so yeah. we're gonna do that with some lightener pop out some of the ends because i feel like they have like mineral build up and just make her feel more like a neutrally golden blonde overall we love that <laughs>
am just leaving the salon and this is incredible. I mean, it speaks for itself. It looks so freaking good, so freaking bright. I love that, like I feel so blonde. Jill is incredible. I'll put her handle on the screen and or in the description box. If you guys are looking for someone in Orange County to do your hair, she's like, I mean, look at this, look at this. And then I just did like a little trim. She trimmed up my bangs. I'm so happy with this though. I feel like it looks so good and nice and fresh. What I asked for, I just wanted to be like brighter, like chunkier money pieces in the front. I love a good money piece in the front. I feel like it just brightens everything up. I did like a warm but bright blonde, so not cool toned. And then for the root, we kind of just like dragged down a toner so it all blended nicely and that was a cool toned toner. That's pretty much it. So I did a full head of highlights. Try to vlog Clayton's reaction to my hair. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog. Other than that, if I capture this, we glowed up. We're ready for the engagement shoot. We will be heading to New York now. So we'll see you guys over in New York. And love ya. What do you think, babe? It's beautiful. <laughs> do you like it? Mm-hmm. Go, Jill. Go, Jill. No, you're not really good. I love it. A little bit lighter? Mm-hmm. Love it, babe. You love look you. stunning. Love ya. <laughs>